Hey, what's up, YouTube world? This is Jack Madrox here. And today, a little bit more wrestling talk. Alright, so... From what we know now... Okay, Brock Lesnar... He is the Universal Champion. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, as you all know, he beat Goldberg... At WrestleMania 33 for that title. And now, you know, we ain't really seen hide nor hair of Brock Lesnar since. Which is kind of, you know, uh, odd, you know, I mean, because, you know, I mean, he's the Universal Champion, you know, that's the main title on Monday Night Raw. I mean, he should be there. But whatever, you know, I get it, you know sort of, <laughs> anyways, um, so now, we have five potential, um, challengers, you know, who's gonna challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal title, and honestly, you know, um, I'm not seeing a lot of, uh, credible choices here. You know, I, I'm not, and see, and that's, that's what I really want to talk about today. I want to talk about how the choices don't even, aren't even, like, really fair, you know? They don't even measure up. You know, I mean, okay. So, at Extreme Rules, I think, yeah, it, yeah, Extreme Rules, there is going to be a five- uh, there's going to be, like, some sort of, uh, there's going to be a five-way match between Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and, uh, Samoa Joe. Okay. Now, okay, so, and whoever wins this five-way match is going to be the number one contender for Brock Lesnar's universal title, you know, and that match will take place, <laughs> uh, I imagine that they would save something like that for SummerSlam, but, uh, probably not, maybe, I mean, possibly, maybe they're gonna do it at this great balls of fire pay-per-view, you know, but, um, anyways, let's talk about the choices here, okay, <laughs> Bray Wyatt, are you, f are you fucking kidding me, why, oh, why is, I mean, okay, if he's just cannon fodder in this match, you know, just another semi- credible opponent for the card, that's fine, but I'm, but I'm telling you, like, logically, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't, I mean, if any, if you guys can remember, at the very first roadblock pay-per-view, uh, the one right before Wrestlemania, uh, right before Wrestlemania 32, um, the main event was Triple H versus Dean Ambrose for the, uh, WWE title. And, uh, yeah, it was the first ever roadblock pay-per-view. It was like, it, 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 it felt like a glorified house show is what it felt like. But, uh, it's still on the WWE Network, you can go watch it or whatever, uh, but the point is, is that at that pay-per-view, it was supposed to be Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. Because they were kind of like semi-feuding at the time. Okay. Now, that match did not happen the way it was supposed to happen. Not at all. Bray Wyatt, if I... 
what I remember is Bray Wyatt being too chicken shit to even get in the ring with Brock Lesnar. He, what he based, what happened basically is he had Luke Harper fight the match for him, and Luke Harper ended up getting destroyed by Brock Lesnar instead of Bray himself. Uh, and, uh, I mean, if Bray Wyatt didn't look bad enough at that point, that, uh, that for me was just a huge, like, nail in the coffin of Bray Wyatt's credibility as the eater of worlds and the new face of fear. Give me a break. And so I'm thinking if Bray Wyatt somehow wins this five-man match at Extreme Rules to uh, to determine the number one contender for the Universal title, is he even going to get in the fucking ring this time? Is he even going to have the balls to step through the, the fucking ropes and into the ring and actually wrestle with Brock this time? I mean, him and Luke Harper ain't a thing no more. Him, I don't know about Eric Rowan. I really doubt it. They're on separate shows now. You know. <laughs> so, I mean, no. Uh, Bray Wyatt would be a very terrible choice to go up against Brock Lesnar. Terrible. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even humor that idea. I mean, because he's had his shot. To go up against Brock Lesnar. And he ran. He ran like a bitch. <sighs> so anyways. Okay. So. No. Bray Wyatt. Absolutely not. Okay. Finn Balor. Okay. Now I know the WWE Universe is really hot for that one. But I'm telling you. It's not going to end nicely. It's not going to. It's not going to have the result you're hoping for. It won't. <laughs> In the end, it really is a mismatch. I'm sorry, I know that... I mean, I like Finn Balor, too. I like Finn Balor, too. But... He can't measure up, man. He, uh, he can't... Brock Lesnar outweighs him. Out... You know, outpowers him. There's no shot in hell. I mean, I could probably see a pretty interesting uh, fighting spirit. But in the end, Brock is going to win. I don't care. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. You can play that whole David versus Goliath thing all you want. You know, it just it's not going to work. I don't... But, you know, I could be wrong, but my vote for... Finn Balor is no. Okay, no. Okay. Seth Rollins. Uh, now, Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar have actually fought before. When uh, Seth was still, when Seth still had the WWE title, you know, the actual title, there were no universal titles or uh, brands at that time, you know, I mean, it, was, it wasn't really that long ago, <laughs> they actually had a match, I, I think it was Battleground, and I remember uh, the only thing that saved Seth Rollins from losing the WWE title at that pay-per-view was The Undertaker interrupting the end of the match, and, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, attacking Brock Lesnar because he had just recently ended his uh, undefeated streak at WrestleMania. <sighs> so, yeah. But, at least Seth Rollins, at least he, at least he had the balls to actually get in the ring and attempt to wrestle Brock Lesnar. And, you know, I mean, but for the most part, it was a massacre, you know. Seth didn't really stand a chance, you know. <laughs> he got suplexed God knows how many times. It was like, what was it, 12 or 13 times? 
Jesus Christ. Good luck with that, Seth. If you end up winning this match, you better have a better game plan than you did back then, I'll tell you. So my vote for Seth Rollins, eh, possibility, possibility. All right, now, Samoa Joe, no, no. Okay, um, first thing, we ain't, this guy is too green, okay, way too green. And what I mean by that is he just showed up on the main roster. This guy is not ready to be in that kind of a match, you know. He's not ready for that. Now, I guess, you know, you can argue with me all you want, but I'm just, I'm personally, I'm not sold on Samoa Joe, and why the hell should I be? What, because of everything he did in NXT? I hardly watch NXT. I watch some of it, not all of it. You know, I ain't got that much free time, man. You know, to watch that much wrestling, nor do I have a nor do I have the desire to watch that much wrestling every week. I have to sit through three hours of Raw, which is sometimes a fucking chore to do. SmackDown Live has been kind of eh lately, but... <clears throat> but anyways, no, I'm not, sold, I'm not sold on Samoa Joe. I ain't seen really anything from him that would, you know... Uh, credit a title shot. It just, I mean, yeah, go ahead, put him in this match, cannon fodder, whatever, you know, great. Like Bray Wyatt, just throw Bray Wyatt and Samoa Joe in there, let him be cannon fodder. And so, for Samoa Joe, uh, no, no. I'm not sold, and no one and no one else should be sold either, you know, because I don't, I just, no, I ain't seen enough, I ain't seen enough from him yet, and so the last pick, oh yeah, we're gonna get to that, we have to get to that, Roman Reigns, <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable, you know, of course Roman's in this match, why isn't he? We're going to finally have the the two guys, the only two men in history to ever beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, finally going at it for the Universal title. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at the Great Balls of Fire! <laughs> okay, so this was, uh, shit, this was inevitable. Now, everybody, you got to brace yourselves here. Okay, as much as you hate Roman Reigns, you're going to have to probably deal with the fact that this is probably all a big, this is going, this is being built around Roman, okay? You have to understand this, okay? And out of these five competitors, Roman is probably the, no, not probably, he is the best choice. To go up against Brock Lesnar. He is. You can sit there and try to tell me about Samoa Joe all you want. I don't care. Samoa Joe, dude, he did. No, we ain't seen enough from him. I'm sorry, we just haven't, okay? We ain't seen enough. And I don't believe in him. I mean, he, he looks out of shape, you know, like totally out of shape, okay? And. Don't try to tell me Bray Wyatt. I can't imagine that many people trying to tell me Bray Wyatt would be a better choice over Roman Reigns. Because, I mean, no. Bray Wyatt has been terrible. He's been terrible. And uh, Finn Balor, please. The guy, the guy looks very injury prone. And I don't, I mean, how many of them suplexes could he take before, you know, he got another concussion or... Uh, or something else popped out of place, you know, uh, shit, you know, uh, Seth Rollins, you know, like I said, it's, it's a possibility, I could see it maybe happening, but we gotta be honest here, the only one who even remotely looks 
you know, like a plausible opponent for an, a for a guy like Brock Lesnar is Roman Reigns, and it makes sense because they're the only two guys who have beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania. My my vote on Roman Reigns is yes. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns. I'm not. I haven't been. I don't like that he shoved down our throats either. But the fact of the matter is, is that out of these five guys, Roman is the most plausible. I mean, even if Dean, you know, y'all know I'm a Dean Ambrose guy. Even if Dean Ambrose was in this match, I'm going to tell you, no, Roman would probably be a better choice because Dean and Brock Lesnar went up against each other at WrestleMania 32. And I don't care, you know, if, if, if that match was decent. It wasn't the greatest ever, but it was decent. But in all reality, Dean didn't really stand a chance against Brock Lesnar. You know, and not, not really. Let's face it. Roman Reigns is the right choice here. And, you know, it just, eh, I don't like it any more than you guys do. But that's just how it is. That's who, that's, I mean, and it, you know, and that's what this is all being built around anyway. I mean, how long has it been since Roman has been uh, champion? It's been a while. I think it's been about a year. You know, and they're trying to build the company around this guy, you know, to lead him into the next generation, which sucks. But, you know, that's just the way it is, you know. Yeah, it's time to lay the title back on him. And you're going to have to deal with it, you know. I'm going to have to, y'all going to have to deal with it, you know. Me, personally, I don't give a damn about the Universal title. Fine. I know it's the big championship. But, you know, it seems like nowadays the big championships that are the most important seem to be the more corporate-oriented, uh, you know, it, it, it's a title, a spot meant for the most corporate-oriented people, you know, I don't know, I don't think profit, tr uh, necessarily has everything to do with it being the main champion i think it's more like who looks good on uh you know magazine covers or who can go on uh you know abc or nbc or whatever and do an interview or espn or something and who looks good you know and uh someone like brock lesnar someone like roman reigns you know, they do look good on TV. But unfortunately, you know, somebody like somebody like Roman Reigns just doesn't connect with the fans. You know, he, I know he don't connect. I don't feel any connection with him at all. I feel tons of connection with Dean Ambrose. Yeah, you know, he's the lunatic friends, you know, I mean mental illness and all that. I can relate with that. I fight mental illness every day. I can relate with that. He comes from the slums or whatever, you know. I can relate to that too. <laughs> Not necessarily the best background, you know. Came up from nothing pretty much. Hey, hey I can relate with that. What is there to relate about with Roman? nothing <laughs> he, he comes from a really good family who are pretty much neck deep in the wrestling business he could get a job anywhere he wanted just because of who he's related to you know there's really nothing you see i don't have that kind of background i can't get behind somebody like that because i just can't <sighs> But anyways, that's a whole other video. I'm just sitting here just spouting off shit. But anyways, yeah. Those, that was my uh, little rant about the five potential contenders for Brock Lesnar's universal title. 
And, um, like I said, I hate to say it, but I have to say that Roman Reigns is the best choice. Stay spooky. I'm out. Don't hate on me too much.